seven friends A, B, C, D, E, F, G are seated in a straight line facing north. All of them are seated in ascending order of their salary. Okay. G earns more than F and D. Who does not earn the lowest and so on. So basically it's about arranging this seven friends in a straight line facing north. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right. These are the <coughs> seven positions. Now they, they have been seated in ascending order of their salary. Right. Based on their salary. Now look at the points here. G earns more than F and D. G earns more than F and D. Who does not earn the lowest? G earns more than F and D. Who does not earn the lowest? So let's make a note of these points. G is greater than F and D. And who does not earn the lowest? Who does not earn the lowest? Here refers to D, right? D does not earn the lowest. I mean, or maybe F and D. This group does not earn the lowest. Okay. Anyway, let's let's just use this point first. G earns more than F and D. Who does not earn the lowest, right? F and D do not earn the lowest or D does not earn the lowest, right? D is not the lowest, remember. So basically D cannot come in this position. See, they have been arranged in the ascending order of the salary, right? So the one who has got minimum salary, lowest salary will come here. The one who has got highest salary will come here. Now D does not earn the lowest. So D cannot come in this position. G earns more than A. G earns more than A. G is greater than A. But he does not earn the highest. He does not earn the highest. So G earns more than A. But he does not earn the high. Remember, but refers to the first person again. Right? Don't get confused. Is it A or G? It is G. G earns more than A. But G does not earn the highest. If G does not earn the highest, G cannot come in the last position. Alright? G cannot come in the last position. We have made a note of that point. So, let's underline. A earns more than F. A earns more than F. So, already A is there. Let me just connect it with it. Right? A earns more than F. A is greater than F. Then, the one who earns second highest receives a salary of 30,000. The one who earns second highest receives a salary of 30,000. So, second highest is this person. See, this is highest. Second highest is this. What is the salary? 30,000. While the third lowest earns, receive, uh, I mean, the third lowest owner receives 21,000. Third lowest. Lowest, second lowest, third lowest. The third lowest owner receives 21,000. E earns less than F. E is less than F. So, if E earns less than F, can we say F is greater than E? Yes. I can connect it like this. E earns less than F. So, F is greater than E. But more than D. E earns less than F. But more than D. E earns more than D. You are able to follow. E earns less than F. E is less than F. But E is more than D. But E is more than D. C earns 15,000. C earns 15,000. Now, what do you mean by this last point? What do you understand from this last point? C earns 15,000. See, we know that these guys have been arranged in ascending order of the salaries. So, if C earns 15,000, obviously C will either come in the first position or in the second position. Because the third person we know earns 21,000. 15,000 is less than 21,000, right? So, C will either take the first position or the second position. Alright? Now, let's try and fill the gaps, right? See, basically we need ascending order. What we have formed here is the descending order. So, let me just uh, reverse it. Right. I mean, or when you are doing it, you have to ensure that you reverse it because it will be like D uh, less than E, less than F, less than A, less than G. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Five persons order is known to us. Again, we know that C, G is on the towards the right hand side, right? G is towards the right hand side. But G, can it come on the rightmost position? No. G has to come here, right? See, it's, it's very clear. We know that it does not start with D. It does not end with G. But here it starts with D and ends with G. So these are the five positions, right? We have to fill these intermediate five positions. D, E, F, A, G. D, E, F, A, G. So we are not violating any of the conditions, right? D should not come here. G should not come here. So in between, we have packed with D, E, F, A, G. Now we know that C either comes in the first or the second position. So now that second is filled, C has to come here. And who is left out? A, C, D, E, F, G, right? B is left out. B comes here. Done. That's the arrangement. Of course, we do not know about the salary of other person there. C earns 15,000. C earns 15,000. And now we can answer the questions. Okay. C, D, F, C, D, E, F, A, G, B is the sequence. Let me see if the questions have been asked along with this. No, questions have not been asked. Yeah, questions have not been asked. So that's the final solution.